Hello and welcome to CMMI TV. I'm Jeff Dalton from AskTheCMMIAppraiser.com. This month on our blog, we'll be talking about CMMI version 2.0. On March 31st, 2018, the CMMI Institute will be releasing the latest and greatest version of CMMI, and it is the greatest, version 2.0. Uh, about 15, 16 years ago, the Software Engineering Institute came out with the Capability Maturity Model Integration version 1.0, and it's been through four iterations since that time. The last update to this model is in 2010 when version 1.3 was released. We also saw a little bit of a split then with new constellations being added in 1.3 for CMMI for services, CMMI for acquisition, and what used to be just called CMMI is now called CMMI dev. The new version 2.0 of CMMI is gonna be very different. First of all, it's gonna be much smaller and more compact. There's less practices, and there's less practice areas in each of the views, now called views and not constellations, by the way. Um, each of the views now have less practice areas, another new word. So we're starting to see a change in the language from practice, uh, specific practice and generic practice to just the word practice from process areas to practice areas, a complete elimination of the generic practices, and a complete change in the way that appraisals are conducted. The access to the model is gonna be conducted using an online tool, and no longer will you have that big blue heavy book to carry around, it'll all be database driven, and you'll be able to pick different views looking at the model from a dev perspective, from a services perspective, and there's gonna be some new ones too, Something, some things to do with cybersecurity, of course acquisition will still be there, people CMM will be part of it, and someday in the future you'll be able to pick a view that you yourself created. Now, that's not slated to be released this year or next, but it will eventually be coming. Um, another change we're seeing is in the appraisal method. No longer will you have Scampi to kick around. Scampi A's, B's, and C's are all going away. We're now going to have benchmarking appraisals. A benchmarking appraisal is similar to a Scampi A in some ways. It's gonna be a little bit smaller and more efficient, and the CMMI Institute is gonna take responsibility for picking the sample no more than 60 days prior to the appraisal. The benchmarking appraisal has a validity period of three years, so don't worry, a lot of people were talking about it being 18 months for a while, and that's not what they're gonna do. They are gonna keep it at three years. And then there's a new kind of appraisal that's kind of cool, it's called the sustainment appraisal. And the sustainment appraisal gives your organization the ability to extend your validity period by two years by having a smaller, some are saying a 60% smaller appraisal, that verifies that nothing major has changed and that the processes are still intact, and you'll be able to extend your validity period for two years. Now here's the thing, you'll be able to do that over and over and over again and keep extending it for two years using this much smaller appraisal known as the sustainment appraisal. And assuming your organization hasn't changed at all, you'll be able to just keep doing those every two years and keeping your costs much lower. The third type of appraisal is called the evaluation appraisal. And this is similar to how we think of class C or scampi C appraisals today. These are gap analyses. They're dependent upon your goals and objectives. The scope of them is completely wide open and uh, it's gonna be up to you to decide how you use the data. So it isn't entirely like a scampi C, but it is a little bit different. Uh, but there are some similarities. Uh, another change that we're seeing in the new version of CMMI is a greater focus on governance. Um, today, uh, with the generic practices, especially GP 2.10 and some of the practices in measurement and in organizational process focus, there's a little bit of a hint towards governance, but the new version of the CMMI version two has a lot more. As a matter of fact, it has a practice area called governance it's gonna play a big part in what we're working on. Um, and there's also one other big change that you have to consider, and that is the complete elimination of the generic practices. Now, those of you that have seen my videos and seen and, and read my blogs, 
know that I'm a huge fan of the generic practices, and I was really unhappy at first to hear that they were going to be eliminating them. But never fear, you're not going to get away scot-free. Um, you're still going to get that great content from the new model in two new process areas, one of them called implementation infrastructure and another one called governance that I mentioned before. And these two together, and then a couple of sprinkling from a couple of other areas will in fact completely replace, as a matter of fact, the wording is almost exactly the same, completely replace the uh, generic practices in the current version of CMMI. You can learn all of this and a lot more in the brand new CMMI 2.0 training classes um, that we'll be conducting on May 7th in Washington, DC. It's a three-day class, just like the current intro class but it's really two separate classes. So there'll be the core class, that's what they call the foundations class, and then there'll be the supplement class. So in this case, the dev or the development class will be the one that we'll be teaching on March 7th, 8th, and 9th. And you can register for that and be the first in the Washington DC area to take this class. Uh, you can register for that at broadswordsolutions.com. And we'll also be uh, conducting a two-day Agile integration workshop that very same week in the same location. So you'll be able to take the three-day CMMI class. You'll be able to take the two-day Agile integration class. There's a fantastic class. It's kind of like the Scrum Master and Scrum Product Owner class mashed together with some CMMI thrown in. So it's really cool and you'll have a lot of fun with that. So sign up for that now, and make sure to look back at the blog at askthecmmiappraiser.com, where I'll be writing all about CMMI 2.0 this month, and I'll be covering every detail that I can. So we look forward to seeing you in class, and thanks for watching.